a picnic by the river. This is a good spot. Let's stop and have our picnic next to the river. Good idea. Walking always makes me hungry. I'm ready for lunch. We can sit here on the grass. Oh no! Someone forgot to throw these empty paper bags away. There is litter everywhere. Why do people always leave litter around? It's not a nice thing to do. It spoils other people's picnics. I think they are lazy, or maybe they just don't care. Look, there are some empty cans and glass bottles under that tree too. People should clean up before they leave and not leave litter lying around. That's right. Well, after our picnic, let's pick up all the litter we can and take it out of here. Okay. And next week, let's come back with friends and pick up some more. Good idea. A picnic by the river. This is a good spot. Let's stop and have our picnic next to the river. Good idea. Walking always makes me hungry. I'm ready for lunch. We can sit here on the grass. Oh no! Someone forgot to throw these empty paper bags away. There is litter everywhere. Why do people always leave litter around? It's not a nice thing to do. It spoils other people's picnics. I think they are lazy, or maybe they just don't care. Look, there are some empty cans and glass bottles under that tree too. People should clean up before they leave and not leave litter lying around. That's right. Well, after our picnic, let's pick up all the litter we can and take it out of here. Okay. And next week, let's come back with friends and pick up some more. Good idea. A picnic by the river. This is a good spot. Let's stop and have our picnic next to the river. Good idea. Walking always makes me hungry. I'm ready for lunch. We can sit here on the grass. Oh no! Someone forgot to throw these empty paper bags away. There is litter everywhere. Why do people always leave litter around? It's not a nice thing to do. It spoils other people's picnics. I think they are lazy, or maybe they just don't care. Look, there are some empty cans and glass bottles under that tree too. People should clean up before they leave and not leave litter lying around. That's right. Well, after our picnic, let's pick up all the litter we can and take it out of here. Okay. And next week, let's come back with friends and pick up some more. Good idea. Let's recycle. Hi, Jane. Have you heard about the new laws to help people recycle? I heard about them on the news last night. I don't think I like them. The government wants to keep the environment clean by recycling paper, metal, and glass instead of throwing these things away. But who wants to pay an extra fifty cents each time you buy a cup of coffee? That's a lot of money. Fifty cents. It's only five cents extra for a paper cup. I thought it was fifty cents. No, it's only five cents. Don't worry, and you can get your money back when you return the cup. That's fair. Well, maybe the government is right after all. I'll return all the paper coffee cups I use from now on. Good. We all need to recycle. It helps to keep the environment clean. Let's recycle. Hi, Jane. Have you heard about the new laws to help people recycle? I heard about them on the news last night. I don't think I like them. The government wants to keep the environment clean by recycling paper, metal, and glass instead of throwing these things away. But who wants to pay an extra fifty cents each time you buy a cup of coffee? That's a lot of money. Fifty cents. It's only five cents extra for a paper cup. I thought it was fifty cents. No, it's only five cents. Don't worry, and you can get your money back when you return the cup. That's fair. 
Well, maybe the government is right after all. I'll return all the paper coffee cups I use from now on. Good. We all need to recycle. It helps to keep the environment clean. Let's recycle. Hi, Jane. Have you heard about the new laws to help people recycle? I heard about them on the news last night. I don't think I like them. The government wants to keep the environment clean by recycling paper, metal, and glass instead of throwing these things away. But who wants to pay an extra 50 cents each time you buy a cup of coffee? That's a lot of money. 50 cents? It's only 5 cents extra for a paper cup. I thought it was 50 cents. No, it's only 5 cents. Don't worry, and you can get your money back when you return the cup. That's fair. Well, maybe the government is right after all. I'll return all the paper coffee cups I use from now on. Good. We all need to recycle. It helps to keep the environment clean. Growing roses. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a problem with my rose bush. It used to produce a lot of pink roses, but now it doesn't produce any flowers at all. I see. That does seem like a problem. Do the leaves on the plant look healthy? Not really. The leaves used to be very green. Now most of them have turned brown. Well, I think your rose bush needs some fertilizer. Okay. What sort of fertilizer do you think I should use? This liquid fertilizer is very good. It will help make your rose leaves green again. Then the plant should produce roses quite soon. The fertilizer costs about $10. How long will it take for my rose bush to recover? About two weeks, I think. Great! I'll take it. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Growing roses. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a problem with my rose bush. It used to produce a lot of pink roses, but now it doesn't produce any flowers at all. I see. That does seem like a problem. Do the leaves on the plant look healthy? Not really. The leaves used to be very green. Now most of them have turned brown. Well, I think your rose bush needs some fertilizer. Okay. What sort of fertilizer do you think I should use? This liquid fertilizer is very good. It will help make your rose leaves green again. Then the plant should produce roses quite soon. The fertilizer costs about $10. How long will it take for my rose bush to recover? About two weeks, I think. Great! I'll take it. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Growing roses. Excuse me, ma'am. I have a problem with my rose bush. It used to produce a lot of pink roses. But now it doesn't produce any flowers at all. I see. That does seem like a problem. Do the leaves on the plant look healthy? Not really. The leaves used to be very green. Now most of them have turned brown. Well, I think your rose bush needs some fertilizer. Okay. What sort of fertilizer do you think I should use? This liquid fertilizer is very good. It will help make your rose leaves green again. Then the plant should produce roses quite soon. The fertilizer costs about $10. How long will it take for my rose bush to recover? About two weeks, I think. Great! I'll take it. Thank you so much for your help. You're welcome. Bird watching. I want to go bird watching tomorrow. Do you know a good area for birds? There is a quiet park near here. 
There are always many beautiful birds there. Will I be able to see different types of birds in this area? Yes, I think so. If you use binoculars, you can see the birds even if they are far away. Great! I have a book about all the different types of birds. It seems as if you really like bird watching. Yes, I do. Would you like to come with me tomorrow? No, thank you. I think bird watching is boring. That's not true. Birds are very interesting. Some birds have colorful feathers. Some birds sing beautiful songs. Some birds make special nests to lay eggs in. Really? Maybe I will go bird watching one day after all. Bird watching. I want to go bird watching tomorrow. Do you know a good area for birds? There is a quiet park near here. There are always many beautiful birds there. Will I be able to see different types of birds in this area? Yes, I think so. If you use binoculars, you can see the birds even if they are far away. Great! I have a book about all the different types of birds. It seems as if you really like bird watching. Yes, I do. Would you like to come with me tomorrow? No, thank you. I think bird watching is boring. That's not true. Birds are very interesting. Some birds have colorful feathers. Some birds sing beautiful songs. Some birds make special nests to lay eggs in. Really? Maybe I will go bird watching one day after all. Bird watching. I want to go bird watching tomorrow. Do you know a good area for birds? There is a quiet park near here. There are always many beautiful birds there. Will I be able to see different types of birds in this area? Yes, I think so. If you use binoculars, you can see the birds even if they are far away. Great! I have a book about all the different types of birds. It seems as if you really like bird watching. Yes, I do. Would you like to come with me tomorrow? No, thank you. I think bird watching is boring. That's not true. Birds are very interesting. Some birds have colorful feathers. Some birds sing beautiful songs. Some birds make special nests to lay eggs in. Really? Maybe I will go bird watching one day after all. Trees in the forest. There are many forests in North America. There are many trees in these forests. Some of these trees are more than 200 feet tall. Some are over 500 years old. Several kinds of trees grow in these forests. Fir, cedar, and pine are three. These trees grow in different areas. Some grow in forests. Some grow on the mountains. People who lived in this place long ago use these trees to make things out of wood. Many of these trees are now in special areas. These areas are called forest reserves or national parks. Some parks charge a small entrance fee. Visitors must pay the fee to enter the parks. Then they can walk among the beautiful old trees. They must take care not to damage the trees. We should all take care of forests. Trees in the forest There are many forests in North America. There are many trees in these forests. Some of these trees are more than 200 feet tall. 
Some are over 500 years old. Several kinds of trees grow in these forests. Fir, cedar, and pine are three. These trees grow in different areas. Some grow in forests. Some grow on the mountains. People who lived in this place long ago used these trees to make things out of wood. Many of these trees are now in special areas. These areas are called forest reserves or national parks. Some parks charge a small entrance fee. Visitors must pay the fee to enter the parks. Then they can walk among the beautiful old trees. They must take care not to damage the trees. We should all take care of forests. Trees in the Forest There are many forests in North America. There are many trees in these forests. Some of these trees are more than 200 feet tall. Some are over 500 years old. Several kinds of trees grow in these forests. Fir, cedar, and pine are three. These trees grow in different areas. Some grow in forests. Some grow on the mountains. People who lived in this place long ago used these trees to make things out of wood. Many of these trees are now in special areas. These areas are called forest reserves or national parks. Some parks charge a small entrance fee. Visitors must pay the fee to enter the parks. Then they can walk among the beautiful old trees. They must take care not to damage the trees. We should all take care of forests. An easy way to shop. Hey, Steve. Look at my new MP3 player. Wow, it looks cool. Where did you buy it? I bought it online at an electronics website. I'm not very good at using a computer. Is it hard to buy things online? It's really easy. All you do is go to the website and choose the item you want to look at. There are so many items to choose from on the website. After you choose what you want to buy, you click on the checkout button. That does seem easy. Yes, it is. It only takes about a week for your item to come. Of course, if you are in a hurry, you can pay more to get it sent faster. Do you pay for the item when it comes? No, you have to pay for it online with a credit card. An easy way to shop. Hey, Steve. Look at my new MP3 player. Wow, it looks cool. Where did you buy it? I bought it online at an electronics website. I'm not very good at using a computer. Is it hard to buy things online? It's really easy. All you do is go to the website and choose the item you want to look at. There are so many items to choose from on the website. After you choose what you want to buy, you click on the checkout button. That does seem easy. Yes, it is. It only takes about a week for your item to come. Of course, if you are in a hurry, you can pay more to get it sent faster. Do you pay for the item when it comes? No, you have to pay for it online with a credit card. An easy way to shop. Hey, Steve. Look at my new MP3 player. Wow, it looks cool. Where did you buy it? I bought it online at an electronics website. I'm not very good at using a computer. Is it hard to buy things online? 
It's really easy. All you do is go to the website and choose the item you want to look at. There are so many items to choose from on the website. After you choose what you want to buy, you click on the checkout button. That does seem easy. Yes, it is. It only takes about a week for your item to come. Of course, if you are in a hurry, you can pay more to get it sent faster. Do you pay for the item when it comes? No, you have to pay for it online with a credit card. Cell phone messages. I need to check my messages. How are you going to do that? We are in the middle of the freeway. I'm going to use my cell phone. Haven't you ever done that? No, I just use my cell phone to talk to other people. Now you can also use a cell phone to send and receive short text messages. It's very useful. How do you send a message that way? I just use the keys on the phone to type a short message. Then I press the send button. It's cheaper than making a phone call. That's a great idea. You can save both time and money that way. Right. All my friends usually send me text messages now. Thanks for telling me about this. I'll have to try it. You're welcome. I think you'll find it useful. Cell phone messages. I need to check my messages. How are you going to do that? We are in the middle of the freeway. I'm going to use my cell phone. Haven't you ever done that? No, I just use my cell phone to talk to other people. Now you can also use a cell phone to send and receive short text messages. It's very useful. How do you send a message that way? I just use the keys on the phone to type a short message. Then I press the send button. It's cheaper than making a phone call. That's a great idea. You can save both time and money that way. Right. All my friends usually send me text messages now. Thanks for telling me about this. I'll have to try it. You're welcome. I think you'll find it useful. Cell phone messages. I need to check my messages. How are you going to do that? We are in the middle of the freeway. I'm going to use my cell phone. Haven't you ever done that? No, I just use my cell phone to talk to other people. Now you can also use a cell phone to send and receive short text messages. It's very useful. How do you send a message that way? I just use the keys on the phone to type a short message. Then I press the send button. It's cheaper than making a phone call. That's a great idea. You can save both time and money that way. Right. All my friends usually send me text messages now. Thanks for telling me about this. I'll have to try it. You're welcome. I think you'll find it useful. Bubbles in boiling water. Where do the bubbles come from when you boil water? Water is a liquid. When it is heated, it moves around faster and faster. When it starts to boil, the liquid turns into a gas. This gas is called water vapor. This gas is lighter than the water around it. It rises to the top. Then it disappears into the air. As the water gets hotter and hotter, it starts turning into gas very quickly. A lot of bubbles form at the same time. All these bubbles try to escape at once. The bubbles push the water out of the way and jump out. This is what we call boiling water. More and more water turns into gas. More of it disappears into the air. After a while, 
Every drop of the water will be gone. Try it and see. Bubbles in boiling water. Where do the bubbles come from when you boil water? Water is a liquid. When it is heated, it moves around faster and faster. When it starts to boil, the liquid turns into a gas. This gas is called water vapor. This gas is lighter than the water around it. It rises to the top. Then it disappears into the air. As the water gets hotter and hotter, it starts turning into gas very quickly. A lot of bubbles form at the same time. All these bubbles try to escape at once. The bubbles push the water out of the way and jump out. This is what we call boiling water. More and more water turns into gas. More of it disappears into the air. After a while, every drop of the water will be gone. Try it and see. Bubbles in boiling water. Where do the bubbles come from when you boil water? Water is a liquid. When it is heated, it moves around faster and faster. When it starts to boil, the liquid turns into a gas. This gas is called water vapor. This gas is lighter than the water around it. It rises to the top. Then it disappears into the air. As the water gets hotter and hotter, it starts turning into gas very quickly. A lot of bubbles form at the same time. All these bubbles try to escape at once. The bubbles push the water out of the way and jump out. This is what we call boiling water. More and more water turns into gas. More of it disappears into the air. After a while, every drop of the water will be gone. Try it and see. The blue sky. Joe asked me something about science just now, but I didn't know the answer. I'm good at science. Ask me. Okay. Why is the sky blue? I'll explain it in a simple way. Light comes through the air from the sun in waves. The light is in many colors, right? Right. Blue light waves are smaller than air molecules. They sometimes get absorbed by these molecules. Okay. What happens then? Then the blue light waves scatter in many directions. Your eyes see this blue light from above you after it leaves the air molecules. So that is what makes the sky blue. What happens to the other colors? They reflect off the things that they hit. Your shirt is red. Because our eyes see the red light reflected from it. Now I understand why the sky is blue. The blue sky. Joe asked me something about science just now, but I didn't know the answer. I'm good at science. Ask me. Okay. Why is the sky blue? I'll explain it in a simple way. Light comes through the air from the sun in waves. The light is in many colors, right? Right. Blue light waves are smaller than air molecules. They sometimes get absorbed by these molecules. Okay. What happens then? Then the blue light waves scatter in many directions. Your eyes see this blue light from above you. After it leaves the air molecules, so that is what makes the sky blue. What happens to the other colors? They reflect off the things that they hit. Your shirt is red because our eyes see the red light reflected from it. Now I understand why the sky is blue. The blue sky. Joe asked me something about science just now, 
but I didn't know the answer. I'm good at science. Ask me. Okay. Why is the sky blue? I'll explain it in a simple way. Light comes through the air from the sun in waves. The light is in many colors, right? Right. Blue light waves are smaller than air molecules. They sometimes get absorbed by these molecules. Okay. What happens then? Then the blue light waves scatter in many directions. Your eyes see this blue light from above you after it leaves the air molecules. So that is what makes the sky blue. What happens to the other colors? They reflect off the things that they hit. Your shirt is red because our eyes see the red light reflected from it. Now I understand why the sky is blue.